I'm Mike Porter with East Coast Yacht Sales, and I'm on board Carry On, a 1982 Hatteras 65 LRC, which stands for Long Range Cruiser. I'm very impressed with this boat. The owner has gone to great lengths to refit the boat, and he's put tons of money into it, a ton of care. Uh, it's always been captain maintained. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to show you guys around the boat here. Carry On is equipped with the twin 185 horsepower Detroit 671s. She has two 20 kilowatt generators, NIAD fin stabilizers, a newer bow thruster and Garmin touchscreen electronics, as well as satellite TV. Really everywhere you look, almost everything on the boat's been upgraded or is new or refurbished or custom. And she has a great liveaboard layout with the full beam master stateroom aft with the ensuite head as well as a walk around island queen berth and then forward you've got three staterooms two heads uh, each stateroom has uh, two twin berths so you can sleep eight people on the boat and it's a really great layout for extended cruising and liveaboards well i'm going to walk you through the boat if you guys have any questions feel free to uh, list them in the comments or reach out to me directly here we are outside carry on beautiful protected uh, dock space here in Vero Beach her home port show you guys around outside here first Up on the bow you got a couple deck lockers with cushions on top your windlass Burgie staff See very good visibility from your crew to the helm and to the flybridge. She's got big wide walk arounds on both sides. And both of them have doors there to the aft deck. You've got twin pilot house doors here. Uh, this is the port side one. Go in the starboard. Very easy access on and off. Here we are at the helm. Just got a bow thruster. All of the electronics are up top. We've got windshield wipers. These are Garmin GPS map touchscreen displays. And back here behind the helm you've got that's your 32 volt and uh, 24 service and AC distribution 12 volt DC down below here on the port side is your switching shore power or generator There's tons of storage here, two big lockers. Right here is all of your service manuals, every single seal that's been replaced on the boat. All of the refit work is in there. And then aft here you've got big chart drawers and a footrest. And moving down below forward, Go up to the bow first. It's a great little twin bunk room. 32 inch TV, some storage. There's a skylight and escape hatch there. Uh, this stateroom has ensuite head, separate shower stall, and a uh, Great closet. Moving aft, there's day head access here. It's actually a full head with a separate shower stall and toilet. And this has the Jack and Jill entrance. Um, so both aft staterooms here use that as the head. And 
This is sort of your VIP stateroom here. Another cedar lined hanging locker. This is your access to that same head I showed you before. Back out. And over under berths here to starboard. Tons of storage. Each room down here has its own uh, access to its own um, air conditioner. Got another cedar lined closet here. And this is a very deep, this under stair access. Tough to see without the light, but it's very deep there. Tons of storage. back up and moving up to the flybridge she saw me on earlier very easy access it is technically a ladder but you've got big wide steps I'll give you guys a good view of that on the way back around and this is what makes the boat up here huge expansive flybridge with tons of seating great for sunset sails and parties here's your helm flybridge helm has the same GPS map touchscreen garments all your eyes and glass three roll-up windows forward and then one on each side it's a semi enclosure uh, and the custom seafoam green stamoid up top 2L settees. Here's your bar here. Wet bar. Sink. And on the side you've got your mini fridge. Four libations. Aft here you've got the davit for the dinghy. Um, underneath here is a stainless steel grill removable and this is a beautiful 13 foot Boston Whaler is the tender she's in amazing condition just like the rest of the boat uh, matching whisper gray hull and desert tan uh, interior to match her mothership it's got a 15 horse Yamaha on it Really a cool space up here. We'll head back down below. Give you a better look at these stairs. There you go. So, not too bad. It's not a true stair. There's a wet bar here. Coffee maker. Sink storage below and then big seagoing galley tons of great storage here double basin sink countertop oven microwave up top everything is really in excellent condition four burner stove here and dishwasher this is a custom unit you can see there's a storage piece below this is part of the refit that they did. And here you've got your refrigerator and freezer below. See this beautiful bird's eye made bowl for mica throughout. Uh, here's a stew closet and dry storage. See the salon really nicely laid out as well. Big TV there. All the TVs are Samsung flat screens, smart TVs. And there's your access to the master, which I'll show you in a second after we do the cockpit.
here you get a look at the fully enclosed cockpit here you've got a door on either side for the walk arounds and another wet bar here on this side sink ice maker here all the woodwork absolutely gorgeous you can see the table I'll head out here to the aft cockpit deck so this is a great area set up a couple of chairs they do have a, a sunshade awning here as well protect this area and the aft big swim platform stainless steel handrail and there is a swim ladder right underneath there on the port side walk through transom door and you've got a hot and cold deck shower you do have your uh, shore power connections here on the aft deck and there was one I didn't show you up forward on the bow and we're gonna go down below to the master uh, access to the engine rooms down here as well check this out awesome full beam Beautiful walk around Center Island berth. There's a 32 inch flat screen Samsung over there. Tons of storage. See the lockers there. There's a hanging locker. Here on this side, you've got a beautiful cedar lined closet hanging. And it's very deep. You can see you've got. Tons of storage space. That uh, window up there is to the aft deck. Ventilation, escape hatch. And there's your master head with a beautiful shower with the tub. All the heads on board are Raritan electric. Now we will move into the engine room. Mechanical space on board this 65 LRC is incredible. There's your air conditioning chillers, the Detroit diesels. They installed the Reverso oil change system and fuel polisher. And there's one of the gen sets and the other one on the other side. Battery chargers, distribution panels. Right here you've got a air tank, compressor. Easy to work in here, and I'm 5'9", and have great headroom. So the current owner bought the boat back in 2014, and he had it all along that he was going to do this big refit. Um, so it was a two-stage refit. Uh, stage one happened down at Allied Marine in Fort Lauderdale. That's where they did all the major mechanical work, uh, the full rebuild of the engines, replaced pumps, any hose clamp that had a little bit of rust on it, everything was replaced there mechanic-wise. Uh, then he brought the boat up to Ross Marine in Charleston, South Carolina. And that's where the majority of the refit happened from the paintwork, varnish, new electronics, everything else happened up there. There's a link to the full listing down below. and You guys should really take a look at that so you can get the full scope of the refit. If you have any questions about Carry On, please feel free to call, text, or email me. My contact information is just below the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the water next time.